Leti is an Austronesian language spoken on the island of Leti in Maluku. Although it shares a lot of vocabulary with the neighboring Luang language, and is marginally mutually intelligible. Fewer than 1% of Leti speakers are literate in Leti, though between a quarter and a half are literate in another language. Varieties the main dialectological division in Leti is between eastern varieties, spoken in the domains of Laitutan and Luhuleli, and western varieties, spoken in the domains of Batumiao, Tutuki, Tomara, and Nuwewang. This article focuses on the Tutuki variety and is based on a descriptive study by Aone van Engelenhoven, 2004, a Dutch linguist of Leti descent. Tutuki itself divides into two sociolects, Leerleta, Lita language, Lita meaning, Walled village and Lurkota city language. Leti also has two literary or ritual varieties: Lirmarna, royal language, and Lirasniara, sung language. Both of them prominently feature lexical parallelism. Per Van Engelenhoven, 2004, the major issue in formal Leti discourse is to keep speaking as long as possible. Indeed, the important element in royal speech is not what is said, but rather how it is said and how long it takes to be said. In particular, Lirmarna features formulaic pairs of clauses which are syntactically identical, each pair of corresponding words in the two clauses forming a lexical pair. Lirasniara is the sung form of Lirmarna. It employs a repertoire of approximately 150 Luangic Kasaric words with distinctive sound changes, e.g., beta una, flower, and tutu, point, are beta e, and kuki, in liras niara. Often borrowings from Malay are inserted as well. Again per Van Engelenhoven 2004. In Southwest Moluccan society turn taking and singing is ritualized and is such a fixed strategy, which makes it a powerful rhetoric device in Leti discourse. A song may not be interrupted when performed. Singing is thus a means to prevent interruption in a speech event or an instrument to surpass the other speech participants. Phonology Consonants In addition, the phonemes B, C, and H occur only in loans, mostly from Indonesian, Tetum, and the local variety of Malay. Vowels These vowels can also occur long. The phonemic status of long vowels hangs on the interpretation of Latis' pervasive metathetic processes. The mid vowels, E, O, are restricted to the penult of lexical morphemes, which is stressed. The majority of these morphemes provide no evidence for the height contrast are found before an ultimate a and e o in other positions and diachronically there was no contrast. However, the contrast is set up synchronically on account of certain exceptions, a a he, she, m sena, refuse, dina, stay, and the fact that when suffixed the conditioning vowel can disappear kerna dry kernulu it dries first kernu descend kernulu he descends first phonological processes Metathesis and apocopy, together binding processes, are pervasive in Leti as a feature of combinations of morphemes. The preferred flow of speech in Leti seems to involve chains of CCV units. The free form of any Leti morpheme always features a final vowel, so those whose bound forms end in consonants feature two allomorphs which are related by CV metathesis. Thus, skin, fly, n, fish, bird. Have bound forms, ulit, urine, iina, manu, the latter two with long vowels, but free forms, ulti, yarna, ian, mon. When a morpheme whose bound form ends in a vowel is prefixed to another component, that final vowel may apocopate or metathesize into the following component. CV metathesis happens when the metathesising vowel is high in it. S followed by at most one consonant and a non-high vowel. 
The metathesist vowel is realized as a glide, jw, written as iu. Thus sivi plus ternu, chicken plus egg, becomes sifirnu, chicken egg. O plus la first sing pronoun plus. Go. Becomes alua. I go. Single quote dot. In other contexts apocope happens, unless this would leave an illicit three consonant cluster. So sivi plus ruri. Chicken plus bone. Becomes sivruri. Chicken bone. Kusa plus nama. Cat plus tongue. Becomes kuznama. Cat. S tongue. A similar metathesis is found with the nominalizer, historically an infix in, but now taking the form ni among many other allomorphs, detailed more below, thus sora. So derives sneora. Needle. Grammar. Morphology. Human nouns pluralize with the third person plural pronominal clitic ra, which must follow another suffixed element, puata. Woman. Puat equals e. The woman. Puat equals e equals ra. The women. Non human nouns pluralize by repetition, kuda. Horse. Kuda kuda. Horses. Leti has four possessive suffixes, which undergo binding. The vowel V in the first person plural and third person suffix copies the last vowel of its base. Nouns can be zero derived to verbs, e.g. Rita, roof, Narita, he roofs, or it has a roof. Nominal compounding is highly productive as a derivational process. Some examples are Rai plus Lavna, King, plus Big, Raliavna. Emperor. Pp plus Iadma. Goat. Plus. Shed. Pipiadma. Goat shed. Vutu plus Muani. Ribbon. Plus. Man. Vutu Muani. Man. S ribbon. Bika plus Papa. Buttocks. Plus. Cucumber. Bik Papa. Cockroach. Kapla plus Nima reduplicated. Ship. Plus. Fly. Kapalnemnima. Airplane. Verbs fall into two classes according to whether their subject prefixes exhibit binding or not, those of class 1 do not, those of class 2 do. By default verbs are in class 2. Certain verbs are lexically in class 1, like Noah. Advise. Together with all verbs with complex onsets, sorna. Cough. And denominal or causativized verbs. Belly. Buy. From the noun belly. Price. The subject prefixes are as follows. Verbs with first person singular inflection necessarily take the pronoun a equals. I. As a proclitic. Some causatives are marked only by class change. Poly means. Float. In class 2 and. Make float. In class 1. The nominalizing affix productively derives nouns from verbs. It takes several different forms, most of which are infixes, depending on the phonological shape and the class of its base. Reduplication, which usually copies a root initial CV or CVCV -CV sequence with binding, has a variety of functions, among them adjectivization of nouns, uau, idiot, ua uau, idiotic, and verbs, mera, redden. Mermera, derivation of nouns, especially instruments, Sora. So. Sor Sora. Needle. Marking adolicity, and relativizing on an object, N Vita. He pulls. N Vevita. Which he pulls. Vocabulary. Lexical parallelism. Many of Lati's lexical items are organized into lexical pairs, which are always deployed as fixed combinations in a fixed order. A few pairs involve adjectives or numerals, but the vast majority consist of nouns, e.g., puada, muani, woman, man, wera, vatu, water, stone, 
or verbs e.g. Keely, Toli. Look, see. Carry, Koi. Scratch, scrape. Some words are confined to lexical pairs, such as Turka in Turkic, Yena. Lightning. Or both Dupla and Mavla in Dupla, Mavla. Witchcraft. These pairs are restricted to Lirmarna. In Lirmarna the function of lexical pairs is to highlight particular elements of a sentence, or simply to mark formality. When used in ordinary speech, the meanings of lexical pairs can relate in various ways to those of their components. Leli, masa. Ivory, gold. Meaning. Treasure. Loi, spou. Proa, sailing boat, meaning traditional fleet. Nusa, rye, island, mainland, meaning archipelago. Ili, batu, hill, stone, meaning fort. Puata, muani, woman, man, meaning either married couple or gender. Or they can simply have the sense of a conjunction, e.g. ASU, Bavi. Dog, pig. Equals. The dog and the pig. These are the only sort of conjoined phrases that do not require the conjunction na. History. The phones of Luangjic Kasarik continue those of Proto-Malayo-Polynesian according to the following sound changes based on Mills 2010. In Western Leti, LK asterisk has vanished and LK asterisk a from MP asterisk E is manifested as O. In Eastern Leti, LK asterisk S becomes H and LK asterisk U becomes T in the penal before a low vowel. Roger Mills suggests that Luangjic Kasarik retained distinct reflexes of PMP asterisk on the basis of other languages in the family, and asterisk Z. Moreover, although the status of asterisk Z as a PMP phoneme is unclear, Mills along with John U. Wolfe and Robert Blust no longer admit it, realigning it with asterisk Z. The Luangic languages have no clear examples of inherited asterisk Z, despite numerous examples of asterisk Z greater than T. Mills explains the metathesis found in consonant final basis as arising from an original echo vowel added to consonant final forms, e.g. asterisk kulit, skin, greater than kaliti, after which the original post-tonic vowel was deleted, e.g. yielding kulti greater than leti ulti. Junker, 1932, was the first full-scale investigation of Leti, based on a native informant and the few 19th-century works on the language then available. Examples The following paragraph is the opening of the sailfish story as told by Upa S. Manina of Talbunu, Risiara House in the Ilwaru quarters in Tutuki and reproduced in Van Engelenhoven, 2004. The sailfish story is of great importance to Leti society, it provides an origin story for the Leti boat owner clans of Luang origin, describing the destruction of the mythical former Luang continent and the migrations that brought its inhabitants to Leti. Leti Ulalud Muani Ida Patrom Puata Italo Leono Apo Rusam Rasapo Rayariambo Ira Aanne Ria Voruo. Kakoi Muani Vorupo Niaulu Nbava Retailuai, Uari Nbava Sermoraso. Apo Kakoi R Mapo Rapninwado. Ne Rakasakate Mato. Ne in N Matio, English. In olden times a man begot a woman on Luang. So they married. They married and begot two children. 
It was two boys and the firstborn was named Retailuai, the youngest was named Sermoras. So the children did not know anything yet. They were still very little. And their mother died. References Further reading Tabor, Mark 1993. Toward a Better Understanding of the Indigenous Languages of Southwestern Maluku. Oceanic Linguistics, Vol. 32, No. 2, Winter, 1993, pp. 389-441. University of Hawaii.